What up YouTube, it's your boy FB Aftermath, man. First off, I want to start this video out with Creative Labs, man. Make sure you get the Super X-Fi headphones, man, for office work, gaming. Uh, we even have the X Super X-Fi Air, which you can take out, listen to music. Uh, this one's specifically for PC, and then I have another one where I've done workouts and stuff in. Uh, stuff in. So make sure you hit the Creative Labs, man. Show some support, uh, code Aftermath to get you a discount. A great, great sound, affordable headphones. So definitely check that out. Now, today's video is specifically about biceps. When it comes to biceps, people tend to over, I feel like people tend to overreact with the biceps muscle. It's a very small muscle. It's a muscle we work all the time as a secondary um, muscle. And we really need to think about how we set our exercises specifically for biceps. Now, in this video today, I specifically went to the gym just for biceps training. And I did like four exercises. So this workout was like done in 30 to 45 minutes. Now my rest time was 45 seconds to a minute um, after each each set, and which was a good time frame, especially for biceps. I kind of want to keep it hardcore but sweet at the same time. Uh, the pump was ridiculous. You guys will love this workout. And if you ever have, excuse me, morning. If you ever have a short time and you just want to get something in quick, this is something for you. This is something that everybody can do. And one thing I want to um, get to the point of is the structure of a bicep workout. Now, in the beginning of this workout, you'll see that I'm doing chin-ups. Chin-ups is a great way to start and warm up the bicep muscle, even though it's one of the secondary muscles being used in the movement, it's still a great warm up for the bicep. And before I train biceps, I always do some type of pull up, my mainly chin ups. Um, and the rest of the workout it just feels great. I've had multiple people, uh, trainers, clients, that say like, I, I, don't, I don't know what it is behind it, but they say like, honestly, bro, training, like doing the chin ups before my biceps, usually my biceps feel cold, they lose pump, and you know, I just kind of stop training them. But starting out with the pull-ups, chin-ups for about four or five sets has really been great for me developing the biceps and having a great biceps workout, regardless if it's an arm workout or whatever. So what I'm doing today is four sets of 10 rep, eight to 12 reps or, or so, and that's a great way to start your biceps training. So moving on to the next movement, and you'll see the pattern here. The pattern is, is a, a like a weighted movement and that are, that's non-cable so we don't have constant um, like degrees of tension you know like cables give us but we're still having a certain type of fiber training in the biceps um, in the biceps training now so we got pull-ups done once again four or five sets uh, eight to twelve reps to start out the workout and then we move on to preacher curls now with the preacher curls, this is cabled movement. So once again, the pattern, as I said, we did our body weighted movement or un uncable weighted movement, and we're moving on to the cable. So what the cables is gonna do, is gonna push that volume into those biceps a lot more. You're gonna feel a lot more of the pump here. And what I did is 10 reps full. What you see is my head down. Now when I bring my head down, I'm trying to curl that bar all the way above the back of my head and I feel a very strong contraction when I do this. I've always done this, I love to do this. And so after those 10 reps, we go down to partials for 20 reps. Now this will kill the biceps. You will be suffering doing this. Now, one thing I like to do is I kinda lay myself forward and have my legs back. It takes tension off my shoulders because a lot of times I have tight shoulders due to a lot of benching and that allows me to uh, take that tension off the shoulders and really put more focus on those biceps. So again, we're doing five sets, four to five sets, 10 reps full, 20 reps partial. Again, head down, put your head, put your chin into that, put your chin down into your chest, curl that bar all the way to the back of your head like you see here.
So continuing on, hammer curls are mostly done with heavy weights. In this situation where your hands are uh, neutral gripped, you have a lot more strength this way. If I was to open up my palms, I wouldn't be able to curl as much as my arms being in a neutral grip. And a lot of you could you know, see that for yourselves. And with this, it's all about control. And it's all about squeezing that, that bicep into that chest with those curls. So when I'm doing it, you'll see my arms at my, my elbows at an angle and I'm bringing it in, squeezing it, bringing it in, squeezing it, really trying to just get that. All the, when you think about contraction, you think about the start and end of that area of that muscle. So you're trying to pretty much, you're trying to do this. So if you were to grab, let's say, what, 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 could, I, what could I say? Free. Or if you were to grab like some tube or some liquid in it, that's just like uh, whatever. You grab the ends and you push it in, right? This area, this middle area, is going to get bigger, and that's the goal. When you when you pulling it out, you know it stretches out. When you're pushing it in, it blows up and gets bigger, and that's pretty much the concept of getting that a hard contraction in multiple movements even when the shoulder like say we're training the shoulder these are your this is your area right here from right here to right here and this is the area you're trying to blow up so when i go up i'm trying to hit that top contraction at that whatever whatever i'm feeling right i'm trying to squeeze that shoulder squeeze those laterals boom boom same thing with the triceps i mean with the biceps right here this is your area right here think of this and you're just trying to bring all of that in back out all of that in you're pretty much trying to make that, that muscle explode and that's what you were wanting to aim for not even just for biceps but for multiple muscles all right you're trying to close everything in trap it you want to trap your muscles and i'm doing it for like back right now like for no lateral downs you want to trap those muscles and then extend it trap it again all right so if, if contraction is like a weird you know, thing that you haven't got a hold of, just think of the word trap. Trap those muscles, close it in, all right? And um, that's something that you really have to focus on when it comes to hammer curls, because I know a lot of things can seem like just going with the flow, the movement. Focus on that contraction, really, really focus on it, because it allows you to understand your body a lot more rather than going through the movement. So, um, with the hammer curls, we were doing four to five sets of 18 reps. So that's, I mean, my bad, wait, 18, 16. Four to five reps of 16 reps. So that's eight reps each arm. So definitely uh, give that a try. It's uh, really good. And once again, you see the pattern, the unweighted, I mean the uncabled, cabled, uncabled. And then we finish it off with the open palm uh, double bicep curl, right? And this is when the that inclet, that trap that trap movement really comes into play i see a lot of people just kind of doing this and this and whatever come in get that out that y and then squeeze it in squeeze it in all right you're pretty much posing you're acting like you're posing squeeze that muscle you want to build that top contraction on that bicep muscle when it comes in and really focus on that really focus on what i like to think of is there's just a slight feeling I get right here that's just feeling like a ball that I'm just about to make explode. Not the full bicep muscle, but it's like an internal feeling that I feel when I bring it in and I squeeze it and it just feels like this area, like my skin's about to rip. And that's something that I take note of that, all right, I'm hitting it. I'm doing real good in this bicep movement. And once again, this exercise, I mean, this routine was only four exercises done in 30 to 45 minutes. And I was killing it, you know, like I had a really good bicep workout. I was driving in a car, like, you know, my arms felt heavy. Like, you know, you don't have to do a lot of exercises to work a muscle good. Understand that. For one more time, one more time for the people. You do not have to train stupid, crazy amounts of volume, like 10 exercises for one muscle. Okay, you don't want to do that. You know, five, you know, six exercises for a muscle is good enough. You don't need to go 10 or, you know, spend three, four, five hours. There are people that do that on the same muscle, 
all right? Like, give yourself a break. If you think that you're not gaining, you know, maybe because you're doing too much, you might be doing too much. A lot of guys, you know, first off, they think, oh, I'm not training hard enough. And they think when it comes to training hard enough, let's add more exercises. And that's not the case. Just make what you do and four to five um, exercises a lot more intense. And that'll really help you develop and grow. But I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helps you out. I hope you try this bicep workout out. And um, I'll catch you guys later. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And yo, check this out. Matt, Goku Flex. I keep, I keep saying like Matt Keto, but a lot of people don't know about Matt Keto. Goku Flex is coming to stay with your boy from Wednesday to Saturday. This week, this week. So we about to get anime videos in, fitness videos in, just some vlogs. Just have fun and uh, you know, give you guys what you want. Appreciate you guys. Love you. Catch ya. Thank you.